You in there? You in there? What's up guys, it's Lee here, the bartending photo boothing rental guy, and today we're gonna go over how to make a template on DSLR photo booth software. For real, bro. So this is a photo booth that I built from scratch. I've got videos on how to do it, I'll put them right there. Uh, basically, all you have to do is plug this photo booth and turn it on. It's basically a uh, DSLR camera, a touch screen, and a computer in the back. All right, while everything's booting up there, DSLR booth, the photo booth program for Windows, it's just software that you can buy. Uh, super simple. Okay, so let's start with the most simple of simple functionality. How does the photo booth work? All you have to do is touch the screen and it shall take four photos or however many photos that you program it to take. Okay, so now that the four photos are taken, you can see them displayed here, and we have it set up right now so it does email or text message. So we can text message these photos to ourselves or we can email them to ourselves. So you click SMS, which is text message, click in your phone number, and then the photos automatically send to your phone. Okay, so what you may notice is that the photos on the thing that I'm showing you right now are moved around a little bit. So we're going to click into the template and show you how the template works so that you can uh, change the variation of the photos and you can add your own stuff in. All right, so let's check out how a template's program. See the menu there, settings, template, green screen, tools, register, template is where we want to go. And this is the tool where you can play around with your template to make it the way you want. Okay, so now that we're in the template editor, we can mess around with exactly how we want the photos to appear when they send to the guests on their phones and emails or prints if you're printing stuff out. Okay, so once you're in there, you'll see image, photo from booth, text, session data, shape, QR code, and background color. Those are some of the menu options that we need to go over. Okay, so this first one right here, image, uh, image is basically just importing an image onto the photo template. So whatever you want, whether it's a uh, photo layover that you want, or it's a watermark from a business logo that you want to attach on it, that is how you import an image onto your photo strip. It's the first button is image. Got it? Image. Okay, so just click into the files. As you see right there, I have a logo from uh, one of my old photo booth businesses. So just click there, double click it, and bam, it's right there. You can manipulate it as a watermark that will show up on the photos. So that is uh, adding an image to your photos, very simple. Okay, right here, photo from booth. Basically, that's just adding another photo. So you see this is first photo, second photo, third photo, fourth photo. If we wanna add a photo from booth, we just click that button. Oh, it adds a fifth one, and then we can manipulate it to whatever spot we want. Next, we do text. So text is the next button. It's pretty simple, you press text, and then you can enter whatever text you want to go on to your photo strip to customize your photo strip. Just so I haven't lost you so far, we are editing the template and we've so far put uh, some text and we've put a watermark on the photo. Now all we have to do is click open photo booth and it goes back in the template, it's automatically saved. So now when we take our pictures, uh, the new template will be the monstrosity that we just created. So let's give it a rip. Okay, so now you can see what it shows. It shows our template. Uh, yeah, things are a little off in the water, but the watermark's in the corner and the text is there. So let's text it to us. Okay, so let's go back into that template screen again. Session data is the next button. We click on session data. Session data, date, we'll throw the date on there. Date appears. Session data, date and time. Session data, file name. Oh, we can add a file name onto there. Data, survey answer. So uh, you can program your answer. So if you're surveying your guests, the answer will appear on top of their photo strip. So it will say, hey, how did you meet the bride and the groom? And the answer is, I met them at an orgy and the answer will appear there. Answer one, met them at an orgy. A guest signature. So guests can sign uh, on the photo booth, sign their signature if you want to have that. The signature will appear on top of that. It will make it custom. Um, and then there's the session number. You can also have them numbered. Oh, this is the 53rd person to go through the photo booth. So the session number will appear on there. As you can see, you can make it a mess or as clean or as custom as you want through all these session data options. And the list goes down. You can put custom shapes on, you can put QR codes on, you can change the background color in behind these photos. You can make it as custom as you want. So basically designing a template from scratch. But if you're not very good at designing, nothing will save you, right? Your template will end up looking like this. All right, so that template was a big mess, but it doesn't have to be. We have downloadable templates that you can use. So let's just jump on, grab one of our templates and show you how to apply it into DSLR booth. 
So our photo booth website is called Boother Tools. It's a store that you can download templates. So let's get a template. Let's put it on the template on DSLR booth so that we can start shooting photos. So remember your photo booth is a computer so you can use it to access an email inside the computer so that you can download your photo booth files. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go on to Boother Tools and we're going to download the background and then we're going to apply it to DSLR booth on the computer inside the photo booth casing. Got it? Okay, so we're into some of the files now that we have everything downloaded and you can do this through Photoshop design and work through the custom fonts, but all we really need is the PNG overlay. A PNG is a transparent file, so something that's kind of like the frame that sticks over the photo so that the photos will be underneath, the frame will be over top. So we're going to find the PNG right here and we're just going to download it quickly. So uh, the PNG blank and then we can add text over afterwards. We've got an empty template now. So we're starting with a fresh new template just so that we can start from scratch here. We're going to import the image because that's what we did is we downloaded the PNG image and we're going to import that now. Let's open that and bam, right there. Just goes right over top. Now you see that you can put a message right there and you can put your photo one, photo two, photo three right there. So let's first import some photos. So photo from the booth, we'll click that one and one goes right there. Nice. Okay, so let's make it about the size of that. Now we want to duplicate it or else go photo two and make it the same size. I'm just going to duplicate, click duplicate there. And then we're going to drag this one over right there. And then we're going to duplicate again for number three. So third photo, let's put it right there. So we just go down low there and then it's the photo number. So it's highlighted. We just change that to two and then we'll click on this one and we'll change that one to photo three. Now we want to stick them in behind now. So we just change the layers. So these layers are on top. We want them to be underneath. You can see all the layers right up here. It says layers. And we want the PNG design just to drag over the photos. Now they're all in behind. So when we take the photos, now they'll all just be in behind. So that's how you create it. Okay, so we'll also go ahead and just add some text in really quick. We can just press the text button. It appears right there. There we go, start typing your text. We'll just put it in there. Okay, so now we have a fairly legitimate looking uh, template. So let's give it a try. Let's uh, see how she looks with our final product. Okay, so now that we have our template programmed with the nice overlay, I'm just gonna turn this light back on and we just click open photo booth and it goes right back to the menu. Now all we have to do is click and it's gonna take three photos and then we're gonna see our final product. So let's uh, click and start the photos. Okay, so it's taken the four photos. Now all we have to do is SMS them to ourselves and let's take a peek. It's, um, it's looking good, so we'll just, bam, gonna send right away. Of course, we can change the fonts around. It doesn't have to be this basic font. You can do any font, any text, and it doesn't have to be that overlay image. We have plenty more on our photo booth store, booth or tools. You go there, you can pick the one you want, download it. Uh, you can edit it through Photoshop, or you can just use the PNG overlay as I showed you here on DSLR booth inside the template editor. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing because there's going to be a wealth of information inside this video series that is going to help you learn about photo booths, DSLR booth software, and all the stuff surrounding the photo booth business. Thanks for watching. Uh, as always, you stay classy.